Hey, I'm Saurav Chatterjee, a uh, product specialist from Informatica Support. I'll be talking about how to configure uh, built-in jars or third-party jars in Java Transform Machine. So, uh, there are two aspects of configuring the jars in in a Java transformation. One is to build the jars or build the Java code in the client Java Power Center client designer, and the other one is to configure the jars in the server environment. So we'll be talking about both the client configuration and the server configuration. So for creating a client configuration, firstly what you have to do is to place a third party jar in your power center client machine. And you have to open up a designer and create a Java transformation. Add the input ports and the output ports to the Java transformation. And then you have to configure your class path in the designer to the class path should point to the location where your third party jars or built in jars are placed. Once you are done with the setting of the class path, you need to declare you have to go to the declaration tab of the of the jar designer and push the in the in the import package tab what you have to do is to import the import the classes <coughs> which are the part of a jar third party third party jars or the built in jars you can initialize the classes uh, or call the constructors in the helper code of the java transformation so th lastly what you have to call in the input rows on the input row or output row tab you have to you have to build or call the call the APIs which are include are the part of the third party jar. So let's let's look at how it is done. So uh, this is the mapping which I have created with the jar transformation which reads from a source and try to a fire file target. Let's look at the transformation. So Java transformation has three input ports and we move into the Java code tab. So in the Java code tab you have you have a setting setting option. So if you click on the setting option you can add the class fraud from your local machine or the client machine. You can I have already added two jars. One, one is a third party jar which is a common code 1.8 jar and one is a built in jar. Now what you have to do is import import the classes. What I have done is I have in the I have used base64 class from the common code binary jars and I have my own built-in jar which I have created a one function to to transform the string into uppercase. Once you are done with uh, done in importing, you can go on to helper code and initialize those variables. As I am using a static functions, I am not initializing the initializing the classes. Once you are done with that, you have to you can use the classes uppercase to dot upper or I have used the base64 to encode the encode function so you can use the third party functions in that once you are done with that you can compile the jar once you are done with the compilation you can save the mapping you can create the mapping and save the mapping the mapping will create a java byte code in the repository
so uh, the compilation you need to do in a Java code windows in, in the generally the designers are the part of the windows machine you have to create this Java code and push the Java code into the repository secondly at the server settings now the jars will be required at the execution time so you have to place the jars in the server machine the placing the jars into the server machine you have to configure the java class path you can configure the java class path in transition properties or in the java sdk class path in the process tab of the integration service or class path environment variable so let, let's look at the integration service so if you go into the process tab of the integration service there is an option to set the java sdk class path so I have, I have put the class path into a, into a certain folder and in the server machine and uh, specified the location in the Java SDK class path. Or uh, placing the jar file in the info server install server bin directory Java lib. By default, if you place the jar file in the Java lib directory, the class path will automatically take the jar files. So summary of this is compile the Java code in Power Center client using the configured third party custom file jar files. Place the jar files in the server machine and configure the class path in the server machine. So let, let's have a look at this. I have I placed the place the JTX demo dot jar which is a built in jar in the Java lib directory. So you can run the jar Java transformation using a start workflow. Thanks. Th uh, you can send us feedback at support videos at informatica.com or you can follow us in the twitters twitters.com slash info support.